Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial and let's jump right in. Today we're going to learn about transforming our images. So what we're going to learn today is using the free transform and then the transform menu selections. Um, let's go over here to edit and then you can see down here where we got the free transform and the transform button. Now all you really need to follow along is just any picture and uh, put it over top of any background that you want. This background could be just a, um, it could be nothing like this, but this background kind of makes me have like optical illusions in my eyes, like it's moving around for some reason, so I never really use it. Maybe it's just my eyes are effed up or something like that, but oh well. So I'm going to put it over top of this just regular uh, beach background and I'm just going to be working on layer one down here which is this smaller picture. So let's start off with free transform. Let's go to edit and free transform and notice that control T is the hotkey. You want to learn that and remember it because you use this a lot. Now you can do a few things with the free transform. You're able to move it around like this. Um, you can come to the corner and drag out to expand or contract and if you hold shift it will um, do this proportionally if you hold control it'll skew the image from the corner so remember that this is holding control and you can see that you can see the different angle to the right of my cursor so then I've got um, the different skews there I went did that a little too long but oh well now you can just do it from the sides if you want to expand like this. I'm hitting Control Z to go back um, when I do something so it doesn't stay all like screwed up looking. So you can do that. And then if you come out past the lines here to where this turns into a double arrow that's bent, you can now rotate. And the rotation takes place along this middle icon here, which is the anchor point you can click on the anchor point and move it and now the image will rotate around the uh, new anchor point so now I'm just going to hit enter and I'm going to go back to um, edit and uh, that was our free transform and that's what you can do with the free transform you press enter to apply the transformation after you're done so let's go to transform and then we've got some new um, items here that we can use to just individually uh, do things uh, quickly or you just want to work on one uh, parameter or something like that. So we've got again here and all again does is let you repeat the previous transformation. So if I scaled and I did my scale here now you can see when I click on scale I'm not able to do like the rotation or anything like that so um, this is scale so if I scale this up and hit enter and then I go to edit transform and then I go to again it's gonna scale it up by that much again so that's what the again button does now I don't think I have to go through everything rotate allows you to rotate it skew um, allows you to uh, skew the edges just like kinda like if you were holding the control button so let's go to edit transform and then here's distort which um, almost the same thing but it just, just distorts the picture a little more and like kinda like looks like it's bringing it forward or backwards so um, actually when you hold down control it actually does the distort when you're in the free transform and not the skew so um, just remember that it does a distort I always click on image first for some reason. Transform, and we've got perspective. Um, it basically just lets you change the perspective of the of it. So you can see how this works out as I'm just moving this along, and we can see the different perspectives that we've got here. So I'm moving from left to right with my mouse. If I move up to down, it doesn't really do anything. Control Z and then this way you can see which way you can move by when you hover over one of the squares or a line 
it'll show you a left and right arrow means you move your mouse button left and right and that's when I move my mouse up and down so hopefully that makes sense oh, I just clicked on the I just put in I clicked on something that made my uh, Camtasia do all this goofy stuff I don't want it to so I'm gonna pause for a second oh, and I'm back it wants me to draw my screen look at that awesome thanks Camtasia it's not what I wanted to do so I fixed whatever the hell was going on with my Camtasia and let's keep going Camtasia is a screen screen recorder um, I accidentally hit screen draw somehow by pressing a hotkey that I didn't even know existed so let's get going back to what we're doing so the next thing that we were on is um, transform and warp and warp gives you like a little grid and you can pull the different points here and move around like the image and stretch it out and warp it around now we've got uh, a couple images that are go or a couple things that are going on here we've got our grid here where you can click on the different points and um, warp those points around <clears throat> we've got custom here um, you can select different types of warps to uh, do if you would want um, let's go to none to bring it back to what it's doing and uh, that's basically how you're gonna um, warp things so let's go back to our transform menu we've got a couple here I mean these are self-explanatory rotate 180 degrees so that's what that does and then you got rotate 90 degrees clockwise and 90 degrees counterclockwise then you've got the ability to flip the image over the horizontal line or flip it vertically so um, let's just flip it vertically right now and that's what basically it does rotates 180 degrees pretty much so those are what you can do with your transform so there's flip horizontal to make it look like it's going the other way that's it for the different transform menu items um, all those remember were located under edit and then free transform or transform and remember control T for free transform because you'll be using that a lot free transform has a lot of the things already within it the only things it doesn't have are skew perspective and warp so if you ever need to use those three just go ahead and use the transform menu and such and such so <clears throat> thanks for watching this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial where we're just going to be learning how to use the crop tool so see you guys in that one. Have a good one. Goodbye.